Let the meltdown begin. MMA meltdown on the Fight Network. I am Gabriel Morenci. Let's do this thing. Young Punisher style as we're throwing it down with Russell Doan who coming off his uh, win against Marcus Brimage this past Saturday night in Las Vegas, Nevada. Joey Odessa is going to join us from Costa Rica. We'll uh, recap a wild uh, betting weekend across the board. We had some monster favorites who got there, and we also had some pretty big underdogs get there as well as Chris Weidman pretty much uh, confirms his excellence and Chris Weidman's a freaking badass the guy's not flashy he doesn't run his mouth all he does is go out there and win and I think Weidman's going to be winning for a long time although we always say this about champions no one's going to beat this dude but really I think Weidman really is much better than everybody else in that division right now speaking of a hell of a lot better Ronda Rousey obviously a hell of a lot better than everybody else and I almost feel like Rousey should fight every Saturday night like Goldberg used to. You know, WCW Saturday night, Goldberg. And, you know, he had the 56-0 and 0 record going. But yeah, I used to watch that stuff. I used to be blazing on the couch watching Goldberg's record. And I always wondered, one week he was 7-0, and, and then, you know, seven days later he was like 43-0. and 0. I'm like, man, this guy fought a lot in the past week. But that's how freaking dominant Ronda Rousey is uh, right now. Although... Word on the street is the UFC is understanding that uh, they got to get some real competition in here. They're trying to get Holly Holm. Is it going to be Carano? Sounds like they're even open to Cyborg Santos uh, right now. And I personally think Kat Zingano, I think Kat Zingano could compete with Ronda Rousey. Can he beat her? Can she beat her? I don't know. Yeah, that, that's, that's another story. But we've got a ton of stuff to get to. And uh, let's bring in a man who was victorious over the weekend. He's now uh, 2-0 and in the UFC. Former Tachi Palace Bantamweight Champion. Former Destiny Champion. Former King of the Cage Champion. Former 808 Battleground Champion. Uh, X1 uh, Champion. Dude's got freaking uh, a lot of belts, man, in the basement, so to speak. But I know he wants another one. Russell Doan steps up and in. Russell, welcome to the program, man. Thanks for joining us. Man, thank you for having me. Uh, honor, man. I love, I love, you know, reaching out and talking to everybody and hearing good things. <laughs> and uh, we're stoked to have you on the program, man. And it's amazing. Uh, you've pretty much been champion of, of every company that you fought in before. You've gotten that belt. So I guess there's just one more that you need up there on the mantle, right? And that's the UFC belt. Yeah, that's for sure. You know, the other belts are cool, but... There's only one belt everybody in the world really wants. Now, how much uh, people talk, uh, you know, you're 2-0, and coming off the win against uh, Marcus Brimage. Uh, you know, but people often talk about, and even if they fought and have been successful in other companies, they talk about the octagon jitters. Oh, now I'm fighting in the UFC. It was very interesting for you. Your first fight in the UFC was in Singapore. This is the first Vegas fight, but you fought in all over the world already, man. You fought in Guam. You fought in the Philippines before. Did, did that help take some of the edge off of fighting in the UFC for the first time, considering you fought in hostile territory before? Uh, you know, no matter what, the UFC is the UFC. You're on the biggest stage. You know, there's there's millions and millions of people watching, and, and you're always, like, thinking about your performance. I got to do good. I got to do good. There's always some nervousness. There's always the jitters. It, it, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? But... As soon as those doors close, it's you and him. No one's going to save you. You either throw it all out the window and get to it, or you know what I mean? You just become another target. Now, your fight with Brimage was a pretty close one. Um, you know, it was going back and forth. It was pretty close. You get the decision. Uh, how comfortable were you when you were waiting for, for Buffer to read uh, the judge's decision? Were you cool thinking, I got this? Or is it a stressed out uh, minute while you're waiting there for, for the call? Uh, you know, any time you take the decision, you start to sweat. It, it doesn't <laughs> matter. It doesn't matter how well you think you did. As soon as they say split decision, you're over there like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, did I do enough? You know, and, and before that whole thing, you know, uh, I was uh, shaking uh, Marcus's hand, and he said, you know, whoever this goes to definitely deserves it. It, it, was, a, it was a great fight, and I, you know, I'm honored to have fought him. And, um, you know what I mean, I feel the same. If he got the win, I, I wouldn't. Not at all contest. You know, it's amazing, though, isn't it? When you hear yeah, the split decision, you hear Brimage's name called. You're like, oh man, now now, now we got to wait. We got to wait for the final, the final uh, judge's decision. What do you think was the difference uh, for you in this fight as to why you won the fight, uh, Russell? I think uh, possibly think it was the pressure. You know, I just I never really 
took too many steps back. I mean, I took some hell of a leg kick. He, he didn't kick my leg. He punted my leg as if it was a football. He punted my leg. But I, I just I just never really let off. You know, I stayed in space. I think the takedowns definitely helped. Um, you know, we were kind of preparing for the same Bermage who fought. You know, head ass fought Blanco, just gas pedal on go, and, and, and it took me out of my game a little bit. And then he started kicking me, and even more so I had to. You know, my game just kind of went out the window. Uh, we're kicking it with uh, with Russell Doan. I was watching the fights on Sunday night, and a guy that you beat uh, in uh, in ISA was back in there, and a pretty damn good performance. So, how comfortable do you feel right now with a two and zero record uh, in the UFC against against two good guys? You're not fighting tomato cans. You fought in two good guys out of the gate here. You have to feel pretty damn good right now. I does feel good. You know what I mean? I mean, I I, I was watching. I sat there and I watched Ethan fight, and he did fantastic. You know, he really gutted it out, yeah. and then he, he got his moment, and he seized it, and he took it, you know? Yeah, and you know what? I actually had him. I, I had some money on uh, on Issa in that fight. I was a little bit concerned, but he dug down deep, and he showed his submission games, which makes your sub even more and more impressive uh, against him uh, as well. Now, uh, BJ Penn, uh, you're, you're a Hawaiian fighter, and... Living in Las Vegas, there's a lot of Hawaiians in Las Vegas, and you know you guys like to represent, man. You're very proud of Hawaii, proud of the heritage. So I imagine BJ Penn must be an inspiration, not just to fighters, but pretty much everybody uh, on the islands, but especially fighters uh, as well. Was uh, was BJ somebody that you looked up to uh, growing up as a fighter uh, on the islands? I, you know, anybody in Hawaii, especially in the MMA scene, even if you're not in the MMA scene, it, 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 Hawaii people look up to BJ just because of the things he's done, you know. BJ has shown uh, the world what Hawaiians are capable of. He's shown the world, you know what I mean, that we're warriors in the cage, you know, in battle, that's what we do. But on the outside, you know, BJ is one of the nicest, most humble guys I've seen. You know, I, I, I got to train with him. Um, weeks ago when, when his fight was announced and he brought us up to the big island and he's such a nice guy, man. You know, um, nobody nobody can take away from him the things he's done and the person he still is with all the hype behind him. Now, what is it about, you know, the Hawaiian warrior spirit that, that drives you guys? Because, you know, if, if somebody's from California... You know they're 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 fighting for themselves. You know they're not fighting for the state. They're not fighting for their people. Somebody fighting from Arizona, they're fighting for themselves, etc. But you know, and we see with the Canadian fighters, in which they've got the whole country behind them. But it seems like you guys, you guys feel like you're representing something bigger than just yourselves, don't you? Yeah, you know we have a lot of pride, and we we take a lot of pride in, in who we are as a culture. You know. Um, you know, the Hawaiians of the old days were warriors. The Hawaiians of the old days, they they battled, you know, to the death. They protected what they loved and, and what they believed in. And, you know, uh, a lot of us carry that with us today still, you know, uh, years later in the modern world. Uh, Russell Doan uh, with us. So, Russell, you took this last fight on a pretty uh, relatively quick notice. You got a couple of quick fights under your belt. Uh, what's the game plan uh, right now? A little rest for a little while? Off for a couple of months before you get back in, or are you chomping at the bit to get back in there? Uh, you know what? I I, I wanted to uh, get in there. You know, I just came off of a knee surgery, and then as soon as I, I got cleared, I called the manager. I said, get me a fight, and he did it. You know, I mean, I <laughs> A perfect year for me would probably be two more fights before this year is over. Um, uh, if, if one, only one comes, and I'm fine with that, but I really want to get in there. Uh, Russell, we got to wrap it up, man. But I'd love to see the UFC in Hawaii. Yeah, I think it, there's like some licensing and taxing issues, and you know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see that happen because I know how, how how important it is to all the Hawaiian fighters and the fighting spirit on the islands there. I just think a UFC event in Hawaii would be off the hook, man. But it was great getting you on the program for the first time. Love to do it again in the future. Get some rest, man. Heal up a little bit, and uh, congratulations on the wins, uh, Russell. Thanks for joining us, man. Well, thank you for having me. There's uh, Russell Doan uh, with us, uh, joining us uh, from Hawaii. And we'll get to the BJ Penn um, saga and uh, legendary career in a couple of moments. Joey Odessa is going to join us. We still have our videos of the week. All that and more MMA Meltdown of the Fight Network continues. <laughs>